Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Sovereignty of Scotland. So guys, today what we are going to be doing is we're going to be doing some manpower or we're going to be doing some recruitment time. Well, honestly, to be honest with you, the more thing that's going to last longer is the is the manpower. We're looking for long-term jeopardy. We're not just looking for that quick gains. Well, I had to do the quick gains last time when it said money because I was like, well, it's money. But this quick gains is something we actually needed. And let's just start fighting that. North Sea, go. Let's see, yeah. They were told... <laughs> these guys would totally own the, like... Oh my goodness, we are evenly matched in that node. Like, 40-40, man. 40-40. So, anyways, guys. Today, what we're going to be doing is still building up our forces to, you know, do stuff. And, uh... I thought about it for a while, and I think I know what I'm going to do. Is, I'm actually going to create a uh, mini explorer. And what we're going to do... Well... Let's do that. Is I am going to tank a little bit of Diplo power. And I'm going to build his own. I'm going to get his own ship. So give me one month. The spread of reformation. What? Ah, oh, shoot. That was not intended to happen. I did not need reformed in my country. <sighs> okay. Well, anyways. Reformed is not in my country. That's not good. But anyways, what I was going to do is build one ship. And what we're going to go do is we're going to go try to see if we can go discover, like, this. Oh. You know, when the game does this for you, it makes you feel so sad. So, uh, yeah, Ulster needs on, is our next place of love. So let's go, go take some men, go right here to Ulster. We have to go get these religious people out of here. Because I'm about done with having... I'm about done having reformed and Protestants in my land. And let's see. Invest in this guy, Ponce de Leon. I feel like he was an explorer at some point, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. Let's go see right here. Yeah, just everyone moved it over here. And... Oh. Well, that ended really quickly. I was hoping that maybe it would take a little bit more time than that, but apparently it was just like... Eh. Eh. We're, in, we're not doing it anymore. But anyways... Now, we're going to try to start establishing our own little colony over here. So we can maybe start getting our national force limit and maybe a little bit more money up and going. I mean, it's a foolhardy dream, I know, I know. But it's something. It's something we have to look forward to. Alright, there we go. Let's see, our money situation is going to go down a little bit. We're going to have to go down to, like, that much. In terms of, like, money. And advisors... Pretty much there are going to be no advisors for like ever. Because we need to keep these colonies going. Because otherwise we could... Well, we could have bad times. Bad times. And let's see, we have our next... Let's see, get these guys right here. Boom, boom. There we go. And you've encountered savages. What do we do with the savages? What do we do with the savages? What do we do with the savages in early in the morning? Uh, do we present a trade proposal? Which I would love to do, but we have no. Or we will have a high chance of assimilating the natives. Uh, it'll increase the frequency of the raids, but allow our colony to go faster. Oh my goodness. I think we're going to have to allow to let... The and profit from it. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I've actually never done this event. I've always gone with the let them live to live in peace. I'm almost thinking that maybe we should go with this because I want to see if maybe we get a little bit better events than like. Because I know this is the basically the stupid option. If we just kill them, then that means they're just going to get all angry at us, and that means we're going to have to deal with a lot of more issues, which. Uh, well, actually, how many natives are over here? <laughs> you know, we could, honestly, if we just, like, do this, we could probably wipe them all out and basically become the dominant. <sighs> morality will basically say, uh, morality will basically dictate I can't do that. Live and let live. I will let the natives live in peace as long as they don't revolt against me. If they revolt against me, I'm sending in my army and we're going to go wipe them out and make sure they never remembered in the history books ever. Which, honestly, that is the worst thing to ever have happen to you. It is not being remembered in the history books. Like, you know, it's fine if your nation gets wiped out. Because as long as you still got the history of your nation, your nation will live on. It's almost like that, um... 
it's almost like history is the only thing that's truly a legacy. I mean, people, you know, it's basically, it's basically the legacy that you subscribe. Oh, Scandinavia formed. Shoot. Well, then now I have to deal with the Scandinavians, who are going to be annoying to deal with. Great. And I got positive money again. Good. I'm making 0.5 ducats. That's good. Ulster now wants to be converted again. Let's do this. I want to do this as quickly as possible. Let's get these guys finally underneath my control. And you guys, stomp out any rebelcy. We're not even going to let them even think about rebels. Yeah. We're making sure that we protect ourselves. And let's see. I'm, I'm surprised England hasn't gone to war with anyone in like the last couple years. But they've been a completely peaceful country. It's annoying too, because I was hoping by now I'd be able to like get a... Uh, you know, foothold on England again. Maybe we conquer all the places I kind of lost last episode. But they just are not going to war. I, th I, they, I think they would be going... I think, honestly, they'd be going to war with Scotland right about now. But I formed such powerful alliances that they're just like... Ah, uh, we can't fight. We can't fight them. But the English throne is weak, though. That's the one thing I don't understand. Is English throne's weak. Also, p apparently, the Polish throne. But Poland... Uh, claim the throne. You have no diplomats and we must have more prestige than it. Elect them out. We do not have the same ruling dynasty as them, and so our claim would not be very strong. Plus, it seems like all these guys would also, excuse me, join in, so, yeah, those are no, those are no good things to happen. But, it looks like France is just kind of chilling, which is good. Uh, what? The Icon Classic Fury. During the Reformation, outbreaks of destruction of Catholic religious art occurred in various European countries. The most notorious example was in Bellestorm in the Low Countries, but similar attacks occurred in Germany, Switzerland, England, Scotland, France, and Livonia. Uh, Livonia. The major attacks were carried out by spontaneous mobs, but in some countries, the government took a lead in the revolt. Sending guards to stop the vandals, we gain revolt risk everywhere. The papacy like us. Okay. We can't do anything exact except weather the storm, which gives us loose prestige, and national tax modifier and missionary fire, or time to take the lead and break the papal sea. Uh, the, uh, you know, I'm just trying to fight back, so yeah, let's do that. <laughs> um, by the way, harsh treatment those provinces that just that are trying to be all like crazy angry at me. Oh yeah, I'm already harsh treating them. <laughs> I, wow, I wonder how long harsh treatment lasts for. Cause if like it could go on for oh, there's a yeah, we're gonna harsh treatment every single one of my provinces so that they don't revolt. It sounds really harsh, I know, but it's the only way we make sure we stay in power and make sure that we don't get like major revolts against us. So if we had major revolts against us, that would be very bad, like really bad. Promising trader, gain a trader, everyone. We just gained a trader, and let us see. It seems like the Union of Scandinavia is having difficulties holding onto the land over here because of old Aldirian nationalists are sparking re uh, sparking the flame of independence. Go Oldenburgian nationalists. Okay, so it looks like Ukraine, though, is having difficulties with the... Th Bohemia is having difficulties with the throne. Naples is having difficulties with the throne. Well, hmm. They hate us. They hate us. They don't like us either. Well, shoot. You know, if I, if I had a little bit more free time, I'd love to get some of these guys, because these all seem like really good opportunities for us. Well, at least the Naples one does. I don't think I'd really want to inherit a gigantic piece of land over here in Bohemia without actually having any land next to it. But the other one does sound like a good idea. Hmm. Let's see, ship costs. Oh, that'd be nice. And let's see, we're going to get our next Kerak. Kerak. Hmm. And let's see. Man, this is like... Wow, people. I, we are in such a tedious situation. Like, we can't... Our economy is so fragile right now as we try to colonize the new world. Oh man, this is really, this is what you call a tense situation right here. Also, achieve religious unity is also our goal right now and we're doing our best to try to get that accomplished. 
We're about to go com convert the provinces of Ulster, who has a little bit of religious hate towards me right now. That's not good. I don't like that. But they do have a little religious hate. We're about to go wipe out these guys, which is good. France seems to have their problems under control too, which is good, which is good. And I feel really confident about the future. Oh, England has just become the paper controller. Shoot. That is not good. Hopefully they don't hate us. Uh, okay. You know, we fought this. I think we just continue to fight this guy because we almost got him. And, hmm. Let's see. Spear successions again. Again, Bohemia, Ferrara, Ukraine, all these guys. Hmm. Again, I'd really want... I could, I'd love to claim the throne of these guys, but I'm pretty sure by the time I try to, like, you know, mosey on in there, I think they already have their throne basically always secured. So, well, we could, you know, I'll at least try it. I'll at least start improving relationships. I mean, it doesn't hurt to improve relationships. I mean, let's be honest here. Improving relationships is awesome. Let's see. Now, we need to, we need to upgrade our diplomatic tech before we go up anymore. Let's see. Yeah, keep our military good. Also, um, kick out this guy. Yeah, kick out this guy so that we don't have as bad of a military thing as we did. Because apparently he was completely unneeded. That makes me kind of mad though. Because I was like so prepared to like land all of our troops over here and do all this kind of fancy, fancy stuff. But then it's like, nope, we don't need it. And there we go, people. We just converted another one of our provinces to the lovely, illustrious, you know, you know, thorn of Catholicism. This is a great day for our empire. It is, indeed, indeed. So that means we get a little bit more money. And that means we have just a little... We're about to get enough money to go spend and go buy another boat, which is going to be nice. We're going to transfer all of our troops over here back to the main continent. Until we're ready to go convert that little province in Leinster. Which is going to be not annoying. It's just going to be like, yay, converting... Conversion. And let's see, let's get back to these guys. Come on, get on the ship. Get on here. Get you guys right here. Get on the ship. Get right there. And there we go. Yes, now we have it. And let us see. We're also making a little bit of money, which means we can put our, this back up to halfway. And let us see. Let's create another ship. Another, like, caravel. And let us see. I'm going to get these guys all grouped up. Uh, you guys are fine. Don't worry. It doesn't take that long to, to like get you guys up back to speed. Oh no, the Vatican infiltration. Bribes are not uncommon in practice, and the right amount of money we could perhaps maintain to influence a cardinal to infiltrate a religious order. Instruct him to go forward, or let the let the matter drop. You know, I think if we get five more, yeah, if we get five more, we basically win this guy. And, you know, we, if we could, like, start, like, getting our influence up back up into the Cardinals, that would be so nice. Like, getting that influence back up to the Papacy and the Pope and all that, that'd be really nice to start getting it. Because it was a time when Scotland used to own the Holy See. I mean, it was a way long time ago, and it was so distant in the past that probably most people have forgotten about it. But there was a time... Oh, there's also get some increase by at least 10. So that means... I'll still be increasing our settlement chance. I'll just also be increasing some other things, too. Which, this colony is actually doing pretty good. You know, for the fact we haven't had too many revolts, the natives have been, you know, relatively peaceful. I mean, honestly, for the fact that they're taking it really well, let's say that. Ah. Oh. So, everyone, it finally happened. The King James IV came to power. The reign of King James III has ended uneventfully. The gay king basically had a tough reign where he basically had to deal with lots of financial issues of his father's and had to deal with an unsuccessful invasion of France. He will be missed. Now long live the King James IV, who's a 235, a really cool guy. And who's his son? James! <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going to have King James the Sixth. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> oh, and now since this guy, since this is like already a good max, I'm going to actually move this to over here. And wow, 
Just wow. Okay, Portugal now wants an alliance. What? When did I? When did you like me, Portugal? You allied with my enemy. If anything, you guys would backstab me the moment I like. You know, guys. You you guys know we would never be friends in a million years. As soon as as soon as England wants you, they'll just declare war on you, and we'll just. Mm. Sorry, guys. It's just you guys are just not good enough as allies. Ah, oh, shoot. And then here it comes, the natives are starting to try to revolt. Luckily, they can't raise a full army, so if I was to just send, like, just three men to go over there, that, that would literally be enough to fight against whatever happens here. Let's go do that. Just to make sure we have just a couple men protecting our interests. Also, let's see, they took cannons with them, so... That stinks. <laughs> okay. Oh, that stinks. Let's see, England, Muscovy- Muscovy has issues? Why is the world's leaders having issues right now in terms of, like, having sons? I mean, right now we've had about a good line of Jameses going. We have James the fourth, we have- we had James the second, James the third, James the fourth, and now James the fifth. Like, seriously, it's not that hard to have sons, and also name a vicariously Jameses. Like, I'm gonna be honest, people. We could keep this James naming scheme up for for like the rest of the game. I'd be completely happy. Like by the end of the game, we will have James twenty third in charge. That'd be awesome. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Cumbia can now become. Get our troops over there. Suppress them. Get our get our troops over there in the province, and then go get the suppression and start getting the religious turning points. Oh man. Okay, we're not going to do that, and we're also going to wait until we can get the flute. And let's see, the baby became new papal controller. Did we get anyone up there? No, we didn't. Shoot. Let's get right here then. Let's see, we got company I think is going to be basically ours. Yes, alright. Upgrade technology, so that we can get a better advancements in technology. And colonial range will be increased by 100 now. It's kind of useless now to us. And, you know, England is playing so nice with everyone right now. They are not going to war. They are staying very peaceful. It's really annoying me right now. Like, I can't even tell you people how annoying it is. Uh, hmm. You know what? Uh, costs can go up just a little bit for, for a little bit. I, I, I think our economy has enough, you know, oomph in it to deal with that. Let's see. We're going to keep a little bit of an army here. Make sure that our colony is protected. And let's see, as I said, I didn't think I'd be able to get into Bohemia's relationship issues right now. So let's just get them down and let's go back to inclu including Austria and in our, in our greatness of like friendship because they're one of our good buddies. Even though they are going to be at war with France at some time soon, we're going to have to choose between them or France. Who most likely we will choose France because they are more helpful in a lot of different ways. But until that point, it's a good, we have a good relationship. Let's see, we're going to decrease this. And we're going to go right here. Royal marriage. Our good friends of the Austrians. Get the royal marriage there. Get them very happy with us. Yay! Austria is now royal marriage again. Yay! Okay, and now we go over here to France. Royal marriage them. Oh, uh, Castilla won't accept a royal marriage after we sneakily got one last time. So, I expected that. And yeah, now we just kind of chill. We don't need to do anything. We just need to kind of chill. Let things happen on their own. Natural life. And yeah. Let's see. France is already at 200 opinion of me. So I don't need to keep improved relationships with them. The Pope lo loves me. Uh, Naples, you like me too? Wanna, wanna like me? I mean, you guys are still having mental issues. No, you guys are actually kind of good. Because your next of kin is going to be the leader of... Oh my goodness, I really hope you guys have an actual heir because I don't want Spain to inherit you guys. That would be way too much power to the Spanish throne. Oh. Just imagine, Spain gets all of Naples and just owns all of this. I mean, then we really would have to have like a Spanish concession because that's just like... Ugh. Scary, guys. Scary. Okay. Car Cardinal Beaton, what? As a trusted advisor of James V, 
Cardinal David Beaton managed to make sure that Scotland did not follow in England's footsteps and become Protestant. Instead, he worked to strengthen the bond to the Catholic, France, and even managed to arrange two marriages. Blah, blah, blah. So, yay! And I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.